Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Kendrick, a hepatobiliary and pancreatic surgeon in the Department of Surgery at the Mayo Clinic. I'm going to talk a little bit about the laparoscopic approach for the Whipple procedure. Pancreatic oduodenectomy, either open or laparoscopic, is a complex abdominal operation required for patients, requ patients with both benign or malignant diseases of the pancreas, duodenum, or bile duct. Recently, minimally invasive approaches for pancreatic oduodenectomy have been established. Here at Mayo Clinic, we have a vast experience with nearly 200 procedures performed laparoscopic and are just now starting to compare objectively the, the outcomes of these two approaches. While there are clearly no randomized controlled trials to compare these outcomes, it appears that there is less uh, postoperative pain, less hernia, wound infection, shorter hospital stay, less blood loss, and possibly improved quality of life for patients undergoing the laparoscopic approach over the conventional open approach. We currently perform over 150 pancreatic oduodenectomies each year, and approximately half of those now are performed laparoscopic. The laparoscopic approach is also possible for patients that require major venous resection, which is occasionally necessary in patients with malignant involvement of the portal or superior mesenteric vein. Some of the main advantages that we hope to find with the laparoscopic approach are those that will infect the outcomes of the patient most, namely quality of life and oncologic outcomes. When comparing the laparoscopic to the open approach, we found that there is no difference in the extent of resection, the, the uh, incidence of margin negative disease, and the short-term survival. However, further studies are necessary to to objectively evaluate and substantiate these findings.